So I noticed that some people in my online class were having difficulty formatting their book for Kindle. Um, so I thought I'd make this short guide. Um, this is a guide that's meant for just a short story that doesn't have any chapters, so it's really basic. Um, so the goal of this guide is to turn this kind of thing, you know, your regular double spaced manuscript into this kind of thing. So this is a program you'll want to download. It's free, it's called Kindle Create, um, and it allows you to preview what your, um, well, allows you to format your book and then preview what it'll look like on different devices. So like there's the cover page, there's kind of a insert page, um, and then, you know, there's the rest of the story. Um, you know, you can also look at how it looks on phones. So yeah, it's a really great program and really easy to work with. Um, so I've kind of based this on this uh, Kindle Direct Publishing Guide for how to format an ebook. In my opinion, they're a little bit, um, it's just a little bit more complicated than what we need. So that's why I'm simplifying it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just make sure that nothing's indented, that'll make things easier. Um, and then I've already got a cover page, so I don't need the title. Um, so then you select everything, and we want single spaced uh, line spacing. And then you can go to paragraph, that little thing there, and then say special, you want your first line to be indented by 0.2 inches according to the guide. And then this, by tradition, the first line isn't indented. And then I made kind of a stylistic choice and I just bolded that. Oops, which is a common thing that uh, people do. Uh, a lot of people like Times New Roman, but I like Georgia because it gives it a little bit of flair uh, without being unreadable. Um, so yeah, once you're done with that, you'll open up a new project in Kindle Create. You want this first one, you say choose a file, and <coughs> so you choose the file, and then it'll <coughs> import it and convert it. And once this is done, it'll actually just be the body of your story will be finished. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so that whole part's done. It didn't take very long. Um, let's see. So we want to insert a section break before this paragraph, and that'll just make it so that we have nice dividers between our uh, things that we're doing. So you can right click and you'll insert an image. Um, so first I'm inserting my cover that I made in Canva. Um, I'll make a separate tutorial for that since it's not directly related to formatting. And then again, you want to edit, insert, section break before paragraph. And that'll give you another spot. And then what I did is that I, oh, right, right click insert image, um, put it under it on the desktop. So I made just like a title page and then here you can control the size of your image. I want it to be full. So yeah, if you preview it, um, you'll see that everything's in order and it's all nicely formatted. Um, so now about this, um, for the lines, I just kind of did a five point font and then um, I just typed a bunch of, uh, uh, what should I call it, um, under, underscores? Yeah, underscores. Um, so I did that on top and bottom, and then um, I just kind of found, like, these two are the same font, so I just kind of found something that I thought would look nice. Um, it kind of helps uh, visually if you have, like, a subtitle to your story, and then this copyright notice, um, you just insert your name and then that's all done um so yeah it's really really pretty simple um really easy to do uh i'll make a separate guide on how to actually publish it because i don't know how but uh that's how you format it